And hello to you from the English Midlands. We're here at the King Power Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position. And alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Leicester City and they face Brentford. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel is the keeper. Yuri Tiedemanns plays alongside Wilfred Ndidi in the engine room. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Delivering it. Well, no end product. Good looking move, this. And blocked for now. And players waiting in the centre. Just not looking confident in possession. I don't think he'll be proud of that challenge. And it's left to the referee to decide what happens next. And the early shower. This is going to be a real test of their mettle. Well, it's a straight red and rightly so. But how will they replace him? They've got to reorganise now. Lukman, this is Amate, James Madison. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Derek, this could be a goal here. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Jensen. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Can he do it to take the lead? And a goal! They've taken the lead! Well, playing a man short, but that doesn't seem to bother them. We shouldn't be surprised. Well, let's look at this again. And what a one-two it is to unlock the defence. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So the action underway again. And certainly the onus is on Leicester to come up with a reply here. James Madison. How can he take them on and beat them? Tielemans. And he takes it on. Oh, closed down straight away. And a fantastic diving save. And taken short. Went in strongly, decisively. Jensen. Using his physique to shield the ball and then wait for others to get there. Now he must favour the cross. James Madison. Tielemans. Ndidi. Well, he's given it away. Crossing opportunity. Goalkeeper's ball. The cross delivered too close to him. 
So the half-time whistle fast approaching. Leicester behind, albeit narrowly. Stuart, how would you sum up their performance so far? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attack in third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. Now oh, that pass easy on the eye, and nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Ivan Tony. And he read it superbly. Indeedy. James Madison. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Tielemans. Lookman. Must score! And keeping it out. Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly thinks so. Playing it short. Tielemans. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger about it. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Attending to his defensive chores. Now what can they do from here? Body on the line. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Well, he hasn't quite had the impact and attack that we were expecting, Stuart. Well, I've been disappointed with his game so far. As those touches show us, he just hasn't been getting into the right sort of areas. That's got to improve if they're to get back into this one. And back underway, Leicester looking to find a route back into this one. Lookman. James Madison. Ndidi. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Well, we're tackling like that. The onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Sergi Canos. Mbermo. Opportunity here. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Well, there you have it. Leicester have controlled most of the possession, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. Is it going to be? Keeper did his job to begin with. And a time for cool heads. Well, what a good piece of goalkeeping that was. But the equaliser can't be long in coming, surely. And he read it well, intercepting it. Tielemans. Defensive efficiency personified. Counter-attacking very much an option. Ivan Tony. Can he finish? And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal.
Well, a second goal for them here. James Madison. Dakar. Long way out. Well, it wasn't quite as dangerous as I thought it might be. Mbermo. Christian Eriksen now. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Substitution time it is here. And played the pass well. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. James Madison. Indeedy. And intercepts again. Mbermo Could be Well it's great when you can rely on your keeper Corner awarded So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, it has come to nothing. And the counter looks on here, options available. Tielemans Ndidi He's got the right idea with that pass and a really good diving stop Time for a change then. Number 37, Adenola Lokman, to be replaced by number 17, Ayois Perez. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Tielemans. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Delivering it, and you need your defender to take charge. Tielemans, and the keeper flings himself at the ball. Over it comes. And the keeper got there.
trying to deliver it accurately. James Madison. Ndidi. Well, there goes the final whistle. And really annoying for Leicester and their fans. Not at their best. And three points dropped. Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very high marks. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?